Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona Career Mode series. Last episode we started off our second year in the Cup Series, ran Daytona and Rockingham, and it's time to see where we're headed today. To finish off the month of February, it is time for Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I always forget there's no voiceover for Las Vegas. Well, we qualified 12th, so we've got a good starting spot here uh, for Las Vegas. Look, you can see us already. And uh, yeah, super excited. Also in the comments on my last video, Mark pointed out that Mr. Bodine, now that he's in the race car stuff number 11, is in a Chevy, not a Ford. So I am proud to announce that uh, we have a second car. It's just a really bad one. <laughs> So he definitely will not be running uh, as well as we hopefully will be running. But uh, yeah, it's, it's cool to see the, the paint scheme still on track, even though I've got a new one this year. Also, two videos in one week. <laughs> Haven't done this in a while. But, uh, you know, to, to make it to the Daytona 500, uh, of year three about the time that I'll be at the Daytona 500 in February I have to uh, do a lot of races <laughs> by then so um, I do have surgery in a couple weeks so that might slow down the videos a little bit but I'm gonna try and pre-record um, so that I don't miss any uh, any weeks I might not be doing two a week um, you know after the surgery but definitely gonna try to uh, make the schedules line up for year three and the Daytona 500 coming up in February also looking at the uh, the fuel remaining it looks like this is gonna be a two-stop race hopefully my right front can hold on that was a huge problem at Rockingham but uh, oh, we're fine yeah if I can keep the right front under me and not uh, burn it up then I think we'll be all right oh, I have to stop entering right behind people the car runs great when I'm not in traffic but uh Definitely at an aero disadvantage when I run right behind people. Oh, it's not going to stick. We're fine. Car high. Still there. All clear. There's a spin in turn two. A spin in turn two, huh? Well, it looks like whoever it was gathered it up. So we stay green for now. Yep, haven't really cooled the right front off just yet. I've been trying to uh, not attack the corner so much and get it woed down before we start turning. But uh, we're still burning up the right front. I think that's probably a, a setup problem too, just trying to get the car to turn unfortunately helps uh, tear up the right front it's also nice when I have the whole track you know to enter and exit a corner that probably helps too now that contrary to popular belief that does not help Carlo. Oh yeah, tire is big mad. Alright. Well, with the yellow out now, I will go ahead and pit and uh, see what kind of adjustments I can make to make this thing a little better. Let's go. We might have 
died. Oh no, we're fine. Car's fine. Everything's fine. These cars off. It's set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Hey, look. There's our buddy, Mr. Bodine. Hello. Still there. Thank All you for clear. going high. I appreciate that. Clear high. Oh, Clear high. hello. Where, why is everybody so slow? Oh, we're fine. Everything's fine. Hold your line. Yep, everything's There's fine. Spin There's no spin. Sorry, All bud. All clear. So it looks like a lot of slow cars didn't pit, and all the fast cars did pit. So hopefully we will have a chance to take the lead and lead a couple laps before uh, the guys like Tony Stewart catch back up. <laughs> the brakes the car should not turn that much and then it just does not want to turn on throttle all right so we are currently in second but Ricky Rudd is just over a second behind us so we don't have a lot of time to try and get those bonus points before the uh, the much better cars are gonna get to us Okay, cool. We got guys pitting, so we should lead this lap. Let's go. Bonus points, baby. My God, it just won't turn. Car low, car high. Well, leading one lap was fun. Still there. Oh, oh, car high. oh no. Oh, uh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. There is no war in bossing. Say, everything's fine. Okay, that's the halfway mark. Oh yeah, they're all dead. Well, <laughs> let's fix the car again. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Car low. You're three wide. Car high. Clear low. Please don't wreck my car. Everything is fine. All clear. Everything is fine. Oh, why did we downshift? Still there. Shauna, please speed up. Thank you. All clear. So we are like a lap short to make it, but we're Still gonna there. make it. Just gotta hope for no more cautions. <laughs> and, uh,. Hope we can keep the car in one piece. Because I think we're in a pretty good spot. Stay low. Still there. Clear high. I really have to uh, baby the right front tire, too, because uh, 
the last two runs I have definitely definitely overworked it just a bit so trying to be nice and gentle I think I'm being gentle with the tire, but uh, I, I still don't want to check. <laughs> We're just going to hope and pray. Car high. Oh, no Car slide. High. No, no slide. Yep, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Go oh. clear. I was about to say, look, we can go three wide without hitting anything. Then I hit the wall. Thankfully, it was just a brush. Didn't actually cause any damage, but, you know, still. Stay low. Still there. Thank you guys for leaving the bottom open. I really appreciate that. Well, we haven't torn up the tire as bad All as clear. before, so that's a big plus. We're just gonna not look at that again, and uh, everything will be fine. Stay low. Still there. Still there. Everything will be fine. Still there. Car high. We're just going to hope these laps click Car away low. with no problems, no cautions, no issues. I am still really Car bad low. at trying to get through these corners. <laughs> oh man. I would assume everyone is on the same pitch strategy and they probably think they're gonna make it, but you never know. Question of the day. Who is the most famous person you have ever met? Uh, growing up, we had a family friend, Luke Scott, that used to play professional baseball. Um, so we, uh, you know, hung out with him and his family a lot. He was really cool. Um, and then at the Daytona 500 this year, I met and spoke with Brian Deegan a little bit. Um, he was also really cool. But uh, outside of NASCAR drivers, or even, you know, if, if there's a famous NASCAR driver you've met, also let me know that down below, but. Who not NASCAR related have you met? Let me know. Oh, I was looking at the webcam instead of driving. <laughs> oh boy. Everything's fine. Carlo. Everything's there. less fine. Oh yeah, the car, the car is destroyed now. Yep, the car is destroyed. <laughs> oh, Neptune. There's a wreck in turn one. Yep, let's just get this race over with and try and leave with the top 15. Two to go. And uh, everything will be fine. 
Stop downshifting. Just go. Carlo. Please just go. Last lap. Huh, looks like somebody else had to pit. Car is fine. Well, um, at least we made it the amount of laps we needed to, but, uh, unfortunately, that, uh, <laughs> that lapse in concentration didn't help, but, uh, hey, another top 15, and... Not a terrible way to start the episode. So with our top 15 today, we brought home another $114,000. Glad we didn't lose anything since we got that motor upgrade last time out. We uh, are pretty low on cash, so it's nice, uh, nice little buffer to keep us afloat. So with today's finish, we have jumped up to tied for 13th in the points. We are less than 100 points behind 10th place, which is our goal for the season. So we just have to keep running pretty well and uh, think we'll be all right. And that brings us to the beginning of March. And we are going to run Atlanta. Welcome to Hampton, Georgia, home of the Atlanta Motor Speedway. I'm Alan Bestwick. This ultra modern multi purpose venue has become the fastest track on the NASCAR circuit. 24 degree banking around the mile and a half quad oval serves as a slick, super competitive racetrack. It's set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. So we have 42 laps here at Atlanta, 14 laps or so to a tank of fuel. So that is two pit stops, running it basically bone dry each time. Um, based on practice, I'm not gonna be able to keep tires on it that long. Um, so this should be fun. Stay high, still there. I'm sure we'll have no problems whatsoever. Also, I dinged the nose in the first corner and uh now the car is still terrible there. again i really wish they'd make these front bumpers out of something besides paper mache um Stay high. Still because there. as soon as you touch someone you have no aero balance still anymore and the car is just terrible Yeah, everything's awesome. The engine's blown. Well, Atlanta was fun. Well, that, that sucks. 64,000 down the tube. Sweet. So that drops us all the way to 23rd in the points. Well, um, I don't want to end it on that note. So let's go ahead and run to Arlington. Welcome to NASCAR's oldest super speedway, Darlington Raceway in South Carolina. I'm Alan Bestwick, the lady in black, the granddaddy of them all, call it what you will, but Darlington is always one thing, a challenge. This unique mile and a third egg-shaped oval has well earned the nickname, the track too tough to tame. Get set, the race is going green, there's the green flag. So we got ourselves another top 20 starting spot, and looks like we'll have to pit twice, assuming we, you know, actually make it to the end of the race this time. But yeah, I uh, 
I definitely feel a lot more comfortable with the car than I did. You're all uh, Carlo, yep, everything's off. fine. Carlo. Yep, everything's fine. Is out. Clear low. Everything's fine. All right, the bucket heads have their first chance to uh, fix it up. And hopefully we don't crash on the first lap after the restart. But there's a good chance we crash the first lap after the restart. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Come on, get through the gears quick, baby. Car high. Oh, okay. All right, we're fine. <laughs> uh, they're they're all fine back there. The yellow is out. <laughs> the yeah, yeah, I kind of expected that one. Clear low. Pace cars out. Car high. Clear high. Yeah, more spots, baby. That was a great lap. Yeah. I'm just going to pit again because <laughs> I'm sure we need it. The race is going green. There's the green flag. All right, 31 to go. Still so down. we are going to be pretty hard pressed to make it on. No. We're going to be pretty hard pressed to make it on just one more stop, but I think it's possible. I just have to uh, definitely do a little bit of lift and coast going into the corners. All clear. You're all clear. All clear. Carlo. Brother. All clear. Like, do they just pick the worst times to let off, or am, am I really just this much of a menace? Please, please let me know. Because, uh, it's, it's not my fault, right? Yeah, spots, baby, spots. Still there. Clear high. So talented. Still there. Oh, okay. Just, uh, yeah, thanks, John. John! so fast so fast all clear that was a great lap I bet it was still like seven tenths slower than qualifying but you know It's hard to put down a good lap when you got guys like this in front of you and uh, your car is also half broken. Clear high. Bro, I literally was off the gas the whole corner and still hit him. John flipped. Yep. All clear. There's a spin in turn four. Yep. <laughs> He's probably fine. Pace cars out. Oh, tires are fine. We don't even need to change them. All right, we uh, didn't take tires, just took a little bit of fuel, and we are in the top five. So we, our tires are a little worse, but we've got the same, you know, fuel numbers as everybody else. Um, 
I think that was like the fifth time we've pit already <laughs> this race because I have caused so many cautions already, but you know, it's fine. All clear. Everything's fine. I just don't want to get run over because as soon as I get tail damage, the thing just is so squirrely and it's impossible <laughs> to, to drive and then the tires get torn up really bad. So I need to just not get run over. If I can, if I can handle that, I'll uh, hopefully be all right. And also we want to not hit the apron and spin out. That's also uh, one of our goals here. Oh, he's fine. All clear. Sorry, Krusty. Okay, that's the halfway mark. All right, we've made it to halfway. No, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Everything's good. Yep, we're good. Carlo. Don't hit me. I mean, the car's out. All oh, right, we got another yellow. Okay, how many laps to go do we have? I'm just gonna pit. Car sucks again. I haven't got tires the last two pit stops, so they're definitely hotter than they need to be. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. All oh. right, we are back in fourth again because people pit the second time by every time for whatever oh. reason. So we're like three laps short on fuel, but everybody else should be like two laps short. So. I'm just going to hope for the best. Car high. Clear high. Yeah, we'll just uh we'll just run the apron this lap. Car high. Well, downshifts don't help with our fuel economy, that is for sure. Um, can we not do that again, please? Thanks. Still there. Clear high. Clear high. All clear. Oh, we just just got the wall a little bit. It'll be fine. Oh, hi Kevin. Yeah, you go ahead, Jeff. I don't need to get run over. Still there. We're still, still thankfully, clear. in the top ten. I think our fuel situation is getting a little better. Let's see. Yeah, 12 to go, so it still says we're two laps short, but I think we'll be okay. Tires are great. So it looks like barring a caution, we should Still finish there. top 10. Love to see that. Still Still we there. could definitely use the top 10 after uh, 10 to go. the race we just had. 
but uh, I still have 10 laps I gotta do so I definitely cannot uh, cannot act like it's over yet and I should stop looking into the camera and keep looking at the uh, screen so I don't hit a wall again that doesn't count I just kissed Carlo. the wall I think we're coming to seven to go and it says we have seven laps of fuel oh yeah we're fine we've we've already saved enough I am gonna keep kind of pedaling it a little bit just to uh, try and keep the tires from overheating but I think we have saved enough at this point where uh, we shouldn't run out all clear I'm trying to just keep it high enough in the revs to where it doesn't downshift to third, but also letting it, you know, coast uh, a good way through the corner. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. I think the uh, top 10 is, uh, is looking good for us. Right front is definitely starting to show some serious wear Clear low. and uh oh we're picking up spots because guys are pitting all righty then so it looks like a lot of these guys don't think they can stretch the fuel as far as we can So I will definitely continue uh, saving a little, just in case. <laughs> Looks like Rusty's pitting as well. Oh, Rusty blew up. Huh. Well, I'll be. Just a kiss, everything's fine. So I got two to go. I can't imagine the top four are gonna pit now, but crazier things have happened. lap we are gonna hope for the best and uh, pray that there's enough fuel to get us to the line but as it looks we should have a top five which uh, after after the uh, mess at Atlanta a top five is sorely sorely needed and super stoked on it Let's go. Well, that helps make up for all the money we lost uh, in Atlanta. That's for sure. <laughs> so here's a look at the updated points. We move back up to 18th. We've got 527 points, 650 for Terry Labonte in 10th. So we didn't make up a whole lot on him, but um, we just have to not have any more DNFs and keep finishing top 10 top 15 and I think we can probably get to 10th in points but it's gonna be a lot more difficult than uh, top 35 the first year that is that is for sure well friends that's gonna do it for another episode we had a couple good finishes that sandwiched a not so great finish of last place at Atlanta but we I think we're about $200,000 ahead of where we started the episode and we didn't fall too far in the points. So hopefully next time out we can uh, keep climbing up. 
But yeah, that's going to do it for today. So I just want to say a big thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment if you've got anything to say. And subscribe if you're not. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.